has been a while since my last review. A good reason for that is because there hasn't been a big release of a video game based movie. However, last night I had an accident. I thought it was proper to go in the bathroom. I was not aware that you were supposed to go in the toilet. As punishment, I am forced to review another video game based movie. Today's movie comes from the land of the rising sun. It is actually based on a visual novel. What is a visual novel? It is a series of cutscenes lazily put together and packaged with a PlayStation 4 label. Some people say they are as good as books. However, you will never see great authors like J.K. Rowling or John Grisham write one. In a visual novel, the player makes decisions that will affect how the story progresses or ends. Released in 2009, Steins Gate was adapted into an anime in 2011. The anime is considered one of the best of this decade. The sudden mood change in episode 12, which changed the series from a slice of life into a psychological thriller, has endeared audiences worldwide to this franchise. The series follows Rintaro Okabe, who goes by the moniker of a mad scientist, Huau and Kayuma. The anime starts out with Okabe discovers his soon-to-be love interest, Kirisu Meikai's, dead in a custodian closet. However, later in the same episode, Kirisu is not dead, but is not a zombie. In the series, Okabe prevents the deaths of his loved ones, the global conquest of the European Union, and stop the US and Russia from having an all-out world war. However, the whole journey breaks down Okabe's psyche and his Kayuma persona is stripped away. Okabe's arc is one crazy roller coaster. Steins Gate, Low Region Deja Vu follows Kurosu dealing with the aftermath a full year later. Unlike the anime series, it is Kurisu who travels through time. This time, Okabe's existence is threatened. What will everyone's favorite son dear do? Kanji Watabayashi's direction is superb. The English voice acting is great. Trina Nisimura had to be strong, since her character was the emotional center this time. J. Michael Tatum was great as always. Even Sherry Mee Lee gave a good performance in a brief appearance. To tell you the truth, this is exactly what I would want in a second season of Steins Gate. We have already seen OK Abe go through hell. It is time for the assistant, Christina, to have some time-traveling fun. She should be the focus and here was her chance. Her road to Steins Gate carried the viewer on another emotional avalanche. This movie serves as the first ever mention of one of my favorite characters in the series, Mal Hyajo. Sadly, only her name appears in Curious's papers. It would have been great if Kurosu brought her fellow lab member to the future Gadgets lab, so everyone can have fun at the expense of the legal lowly. This leads me to one of my complaints. Many of the characters are relegated due to time constraints. The super hacker, Deru, the series Kenny McCormick, Mayuri and Rule 63 Marty McFly, Suju Uehara, all have diminished roles. Most characters are just there to exist. There is one character, Ferris Nanyan, who goes plays as a cat girl. I was hoping she would die, because we all know cats are the most evil beings in existence. Sadly, Ferris has yet to die in any of the incarnations. There are some dumb moments. First off, the plot revolves around Okabe disappearing from existence due to him being depressed. I had a similar experience. I'm sorry to hear about your existential crisis. Would you like to talk about it? Wait, who was just here? Where did she go? Was there a Ferris Nanyan fan here? This leads to one of the most famous scenes involving Christina, drunk Kurisu. The dumb part is that she got drunk on just one beer. No one is that much of a lightweight. Wait. That picture is being taken out of context. Steins Gate, Low Region Deja Vu is an excellent sequel to the Steins Gate series for what it is. In 90 minutes, the writers made sacrifices to put an entire season arc. The movie deserves an A-. 
I also recommend you watch the spin-off series, Steins Gate Zero on Crunchyroll. Hopefully, I get more films like this one to review in the future.